Hello, this is Daniel Ransom, Instructional Services Librarian at California College of the Arts. In this video, I'll demonstrate some of the features available to you when you use CCA Library Search to access our print and digital collections. As you can see, I'm at libraries.cca.edu. I can use this search box to look for topics or concepts, the titles of specific books, journals, or articles, or search for authors, artists, architects, or designers by name. I'm going to get started by searching for a potential research topic game design. My search results include a mix of different types of content from across our print and digital collections. You'll notice the first few results are print books. It tells me if the books are available, whether they are on our San Francisco or Oakland campuses, and the call number, which is the specific code that tells you exactly where it is on the shelves. You can use that to find the book and check it out, using your CCA ID as your library card. You can also place a hold on items in our collection. When you place a hold on an item, we'll find it for you and keep it at the front desk of the library of your choice to pick up. Click on the title. On the following play page, click Place Hold and sign in with your CCA account. You'll be able to specify which campus you want to pick the item up in. And it doesn't have to be the campus that the book is located on. If it's in the Oakland Campus Library, you can have it delivered over to San Francisco. And if it's in San Francisco, you can have it delivered over to Oakland. Uh, choose what location you want to pick it up at and confirm hold. You can do this um, to have a book delivered from one campus to, to another. You can do it on the same campus just for the convenience, or you can do this if an item is already checked out, but you wanna be able to get it next when the current patron returns it to the libraries. Whether it's something that you're waiting for to be returned or an item being delivered from the other campus, you'll receive an email when it's available for you to pick up. As I scroll down, you'll see that I also have online content in my search results. The fifth item, transgression in games and play, is available as both an ebook that I could read on my computer or download, or as a print book that I could pick up in the libraries. The sixth item is an article from a research journal that's available online. If you click the title, it will open in a separate database that the CCA library subscribe to. We subscribe to a number of different databases, which all have slightly different formats uh, and uh, interfaces. Uh, the ProQuest Research Library Database, JSTOR, uh, EBSCOhost databases. So you might see a different interface at this point, depending on what article you click on, but most of them will, will function in similar ways. You should be able to download the full PDFs of most articles uh, or email them to yourself. Uh, or you could just read them on the screen to determine whether they're gonna be useful for your research. As you look at your search results, you can also click where it says details to find more information about that item. So if it's an article, you might see an abstract explaining what the article includes. If it's a print book, it might include a summary of the book uh, and sometimes even uh, the table of contents and other information. This can be very useful to determine whether an item is actually gonna be useful for your research because you can know a little bit more about it before you take the time to track it down or open and download it. I can also filter my search results in a variety of different ways. For example, if I am doing my work uh, from a dorm room or from somewhere far away from the CCA campuses, I can limit my search to just the items that I can access online. Now, all of these things should be things that I should uh, be able to open in full text on my computer. That can be very useful. On the other hand, if I'm in the library and I wanted to find a specific book that I was looking for, and there was a lot of different content in my search results, I can click physical books in the library catalog and that'll help narrow it down to just things that, uh, that you can pick up and check out. Another approach would be to filter based on time period. Uh, if I were researching game design and I only wanted the latest cutting edge content, I could say, show me things published in the last three years. So now I'm just seeing really recent stuff. On the other hand, if I wanted to research what people were saying about game design in the 1990s, I could say I only want content published from 1990 to 
to 2000. And now I'm getting a historical perspective on the subject. Whatever I'm searching for and whatever terms and filters I'm using, I can save items that I find to a temporary folder. So if I think this uh, first result here appears interesting, I click on the little folder icon where it says save this item. I can still do a different search or clear my filters and continue adding items to my folders. I can add online articles, books, eBooks, any content that comes up in my search results uh, to this folder. Once I'm done doing my research, I can click on the black folder icon in the upper right to see all of the items that I've saved. I can email this list to myself or have them formatted for citations such as MLA style citations or Chicago Manual of Style. So I hope this has been a useful overview of using CCA Library Search. Um, there are all kinds of different ways you can access our other collections. You can use a lot of the databases directly. Um, there's all kinds of different resources and I encourage you to explore and experiment with the different filters and settings uh, to see what kind of different content that you get. If you ever have any questions, just click on the purple banner on the CCA Library's website and we'll be happy to help you. If chat's not available, you can use the Ask a Librarian link at the, or Ask a Question link at the bottom of our webpage. Thanks for watching and do good work.